I don't know about your kids, but mine have, well, something of a sweet tooth. There's always something lovely about being able to do dessert for the family, but you don't always have time. Unless, of course, you happen across an incredibly fresh, flavoursome dessert using seasonal strawberries that just happens to be, I don't know, like a 10-minute job. Wouldn't that be good? Well, here it is. Now, this is a very clever, old-fashioned recipe called a spoon cake. Some people reckon it's because you make it with a spoon, but for me, nah, that's just the perfect way to eat it. A little bit of butter on your baking dish and some semolina to coat. Now, if you haven't got any semolina, you could use polenta, you could use flour, it really doesn't matter. I couldn't actually tell you why semolina. I just know that this is how I grew up making it. All right. Once it's coated, the next thing we need are some beautiful fresh strawberries. One punnet, take the stems off, and then you need to crush them. When it comes to crushing them, you could use a food processor or a fork. But my favourite bit of kitchen equipment is the five-pronged masher. Uh, it's a great little thing. You've got one at home. That's your hand. <laughs> yeah, that's looking good. We will need to sweeten this up just a little bit more. I'm going to use brown sugar rather than white, just because I want that molasses-y flavour. Oh, maybe half a cup, a little bit more. I should probably rinse my hand first. It's looking great, but I am going to leave it aside for just a minute or two. That'll allow the sugar to dissolve, which is going to give us a better result. But that's OK, because we still need to make our batter. So, mixing bowl. And look, this is really easy. Half pack of butter, we'll just melt that lightly and then mix it with three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. A little bit more sugar, of course, brown again, along with a selection of spices, just some cardamom, some cinnamon, and a little bit of white pepper. Now, before you start freaking out, let me assure you, pepper and strawberries, one of the great classics. The funny thing about a spoon cake batter is it contains no eggs. I mean, you are going to add self-raising flour, but that means you end up with something that's a lot more like a, like a wet scone dough. Well, give it a stir. Then it's just a matter of spooning your batter into the bottom of your prepared tin and then spooning the strawberries over the top. While it's baking, we've still got one more job to do. We've got the strawberries in the cake, but what about strawberries on the cake? That'd be pretty good. All you want is a good selection of them, finely sliced, and you mix with a little bit of icing sugar and balsamic vinegar. I'm pretty confident that when you saw this going together, you didn't expect it would come out quite as beautiful as that. But there's still one thing to take care of. Uh, this is beautifully red, of course, strawberry cake. This is beautifully red. Strawberries were on top. Red, red. Well, you get that with strawberries. But we want a contrasting colour, so a little bit of mint. Oh, seriously, for a 10-minute dessert, your family is going to be absolutely thrilled. There are so many strawberries around at this time of the year and they're super cheap. Add in a few more household ingredients and you have a spectacular family dessert. Oh, that one's falling off. 
great. Now, I've got a little bit of cream to go on the side, but I've got to say, there's a large part of me really wishing I'd got some ice cream. You want a bit of both. Treat your family with this delicious, easy and sumptuous dessert. I reckon it's pretty special.